welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial and for the brand today i've chosen mix cosmetics so this is my second time filming this video actually um the first time i did it i had some mishaps so i'm going to try and not do the same things that i did um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up this video if you like it so we're just going to start off by priming the skin my skin is already moisturized and i'm going to be using the shine killer primer from nyx cosmetics i have oily skin so this is meant to basically um, get rid of any like shine and just keep your face nice and matte all day long i'm just going to apply this mainly in my t-bone area just to make sure um, my skin is nice and matte and for foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the new Total Control Drop Foundation, which looks like this. I'm in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm going in with my Luxie Beauty brush to just blend everything out. I was thinking about using the Beauty Blender, but I feel like the Beauty Blender would just soak up all of the products. It looks pretty good. Um, it actually covers pretty well as well. So. I picked up the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Caramel. This reminds me so much of the new um, NARS concealer. So this is the other concealer I'm going to be going over this with. I'll check covered concealer in golden. This is a total cover concealer in shade Coco. So it's just a darker shade of the jar concealer that I used first. And I'm just going to be applying this using my stippling brush. So I really like this. It's very cool toned and it's not um, too dark. Now I'm just go back in with my beauty blender and I'm going to just blend out all the edges just to make sure they are nicely transitioning. Alright guys, so we're going to just try this again. Um, hopefully this works out. I'm going in with the color correcting powder by NYX in the shade Banana. Um, like I said, the first time I used it, it came out really blotchy, really messy. So I'm going to try a little bit um, on one eye maybe. If I don't like it, I'm going to switch to a different powder. This powder, I'll say use very, very little because it's actually like it's really light. Um, I thought it was translucent, but it's really not. I'm just going to apply just a little more powder and excess just so it catches any fallout because I know I want to do a colorful look. Anyways, to set my contour, I'm going to be going in with this um, contour shade from my Love Contours All Palette. And I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks. I'm actually just going to use the um, eyebrow powder from this palette just to set that. Just make sure it doesn't budge. I'll probably just use this actually to fill in my brows. I'm going to be going in with my um, Gucci Cover Concealer. So I'm also just using the concealer to prime my eyes. And then I'm going to set everything with um, the banana powder. As you guys, so as you can see, I finished one eye off camera just to save time and also just because I didn't really know what I wanted to do, like what look I wanted to do. Now, I have two um, eyeshadow palettes from NYX that I'm going to be playing with today. So the first one is the Ultimate Palette in Bright and this is what this looks like. So it's very, very colorful. Um, perfect for spring and summer. It was about $20, so not too bad. And then I'm also going to be using some um, some stuff from the Love Contours All palette that I showed you guys earlier. So this one. Um, this one is more on the neutral side. And um, yeah, so it's just going to help to balance everything out. This with my Luxie Beauty 227 brush. And I'm going to be going into this color right here. So this kind of like peachy neutral brown shade. I'm just going to be applying that into my crease. And this is going to serve as my transition color. Now I'm going to be going into this um, fuchsia pink shade, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to be applying that slightly lower in my crease. It's really, really pigmented, so um, top of the excess. I love this brush because it's really, really soft, so 
it's really great for blending stuff out and it's nice and fluffy but it's not too fluffy where it doesn't fit in your crease so it's just right it's just like this dark purple on the side right here and I'm using my Sigma E39 brush to apply this and I'm just focusing mainly in the outer corners of my eyes and I'm just going to blend that out in circular motions and I'm going to work my way inwards. I'm going to go back in with the Luxie brush and just blend everything out. Like a pastel pink shade. I'm just going to be applying that slightly lower in my crease as well. And this just gives me a very nice pink tone to my eyes. Going back here with my Luxie brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. Now to really add some definition into the eyes, I'm going in with the Sigma E45 brush, looks like this. I'm going into my Love Contours All Palette and I'm going into this dark plum shade right here. I find that the formula of the Love Contours All Palette is way better than the Ultimate Palette. Um, like this one is more pigmented, it's more creamy. I don't know, like it just blends out better and stuff so I don't know if the love contest or is a newer formula that they're using but it's pretty good so I'm just applying this to the outer corners just basically to add some definition to the eyes now I'm going to be going into the NYX eyeshadow base um, this is in the shade milk so the white one and I'm going to just apply a little bit on my um, eyelid just to serve as a base for the yellow and the orange shade that are on my eyelid so you want to just make sure you apply this like really really smoothly like blend it out just so you don't have any blotchiness or anything like that when you're um, going in with the eyeshadow yellow shade right here and I'm just going to be packing that on the inner corner of my eyes Now I'm going to be going in with this brush and I'm going to be going in with the so with this uh, peachy color I'm mixing it with this red. I'm just going to tap that into like the center of my eyes, so right here, where the orange and the yellow, no sorry, where the yellow and the purple meet. So this is just going to be like a transition between the two colors, I'm taking that peach shade and I'm just going to pop that into the area. So I apply the colors like over each other just so it blends and go back and forth so there's like that smooth like transition between the colors all right so now I'm just going to go back in with the plum shade that I use in my outer corner area and I'm just going to apply a little more I'm going to be going in with this white shade from my love contrast eye palette love contrast all Eye. Wow. and I'm just placing that on my brow bone so now moving on to the blue liner that I used I used the um, NYX studio liquid liner so this is in the shade extreme blue and I just use this to line my um, top lash line This is the liquid crystal liner in crystal gold so this product is really weird because apparently you're not supposed to put it on your eyes but I don't know once I hear liner I assume you can use it on the eyes unless it's like a lip liner as it says like do not use it on the eyes I'm like okay but it actually does burn like when you put it on your eyes it gives you like this burning sensation but after a while it goes away so I'm just going to endure and I'm placing this in the inner corners of my eyes. Once I get towards the area where the orange starts, I start to just flare out the um, liquid liner. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. Just get like a piece of paper or something. Just fan your eyes. So in the meantime, while this is drying, I'm just going to start prepping my lashes. And for lashes today, I'm using the Be Wicked. I can't look up, guys. Sorry. <laughs> in the Be Wicked lashes by um, NYX, and this is in the style overrated. So it's like nice, like wispy looking lashes. 
and um, I'm just going to put my glue on it while I wait for my um, eyes to dry. So while I wait for my um, lashes to get tacky, I'm just going to move on to liner. I actually just completely forgot to buy a liner from NYX Cosmetics, like a liner for my waterline. Um, so I'm just going to use um, just another random one that I have. If you do have a NYX um, liner, go ahead and use it. Um, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. But um, yeah, I'm just using this one. I'm going to be taking this purple shade right here and I'm going to just be applying that to my lower lash line. Then I'm going back in with a dark purple and I'm placing that slightly above the light one that I just applied. I'm back in with the peach shade and I'm just going to use that to blend everything out. So I also forgot to pick up mascara, so I'm just going to go in with um, this random mascara that I have. Whew, that was a struggle. Okay, so I'm just going to reapply my blue liner again. Alright you guys, so now just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going in with this um, shade right here. I'm going to be placing that in the inner corners. Okay, yeah, so we're finally done with the eyes. Moving on to the face, um, what I actually tried to do off camera was to use a setting powder to set all of like my whole face. I tried to pick up a setting powder from NYX, but the shade that I wanted was um, sold out. So I basically tried to pick up a powder, I, I forget the name of the powder exactly. But um, if I could find it, I'll put it on the screen. But like, it was basically really, really similar in terms of like, it was a big powder. It was very smooth. It was very similar to my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which is why I'm going to get that. But then, like I said, they didn't have my shade. So I actually just went ahead and used my Micro Smooth Powder to set my whole face. And I feel like that really helped the, um, helped the foundation set properly and also I used it, used a little underneath my eyes and I found that it really really toned down the under eye powder because um, I tried to dust it off but like the thing has already completely set so it's not really like coming off um, and it's it's just looking super bright. So I'm just using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in tan and I'm going to just use this to um, set basically my whole face as well as my under eye area. Um, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of this um, banana powder, the color correcting powder from NYX, like the way it's performing, like I don't know if I really like it. I definitely have to do a flash test because it's looking hella bright, so I have to make sure it doesn't have um, flashback. And um, yeah, I think that's way, way better. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit of my contour once again, just to kind of sculpt the face a bit more. So I'm just going in with this gold highlight right here and I'm going to just basically highlight my face. Yeah. But um, I'm just going to go in with this like two peachy colors right here and I'm just going to apply that as my blush. Okay guys, so for my lips, I actually Loki want to do like a nude lip color just because my eyes are so dramatic but I, I feel like I should just play with some color. I just kind of want to really step out of my comfort zone and um, so when I purchased my stuff from NYX they gave me like three mini lipsticks for free so I'm debating between these two shades. Yeah so I'll try the pink one see how it goes and this is a soft matte lip cream in Craig. So this is really pigmented, it applies really really nicely, so that's good. Hey guys, so I actually lost the clip um, for the main outro for this video, so I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next one. Have a lovely day. And also tell me what brand you like me to do next, okay? Bye!